Eradicating poverty and empowerment interventions have become an important um, means for survival of Nigerians as the worsening economic downturn continues to impact on their well-being. For stakeholders, alleviating poverty through empowerment initiatives and meaningful engagement of young people remain crucial to improving their productivity, while support from non-governmental organizations and well-meaning Nigerians will come in handy at these trying times. We are more committed to very low-level people to see what they can do. The woman making ogi, the one selling pepe, you know, we now help them to do book, simple bookkeeping, even if they are not literate. And now they can open bank accounts and things like that that could change the system. And it did change the system. If I can change one million Nigerians, and I have another person that can, another person that can, then Nigeria can change. So I, I support whatever government is doing, but much more than that, let each person build a fence behind their own houses. That's mine. So I believe this uh, social impact initiatives should be encouraged and supported. I think that our corporates are not doing enough in that regard because uh, the opportunity is vast, the need is much. Nigeria is a population of uh, average age of 19 years and with that it shows that uh, it's a young population and supporting them in education, supporting them with skills is the fastest way we can make the poverty narrative of Nigeria to be eradicated. Omoto Sho Akuride, a 15-year-old university admission seeker, explains how his journey has not been easy for his parents, mirroring the struggles young people experience in the regard. He highlighted the role of NGOs and philanthropists in cushioning the effects of these challenges and why governments alone cannot solve these problems. Education is something that is really needed in the life of we, the youth. Many youths are talented, but without not having the educational support, they were not able to be hired by organization. Because actually, skill is also part of it, but education also needs to be there. There's a difference between somebody that says tomato on the road and somebody that says our own impacts, that is delivering it. If you have more foundations, I think that will get Nigeria to a better place. It will lift up all from poverty. There will be more educated students, more youths with graduate results, good jobs in the society, which will also improve not only the students, but also the image of the society. It's like a liver twist. It can, never be, it can never be enough. So like this year now, we are still expecting that probably they should come back. And uh, it was one of the major problems we are having now is the uh, uh, inadequacy of teaching staff. So if they can come in to assist, probably hire more staff for us and pay them.